Welcome back to your channel, Islam Station. Assalamu alaikum, my young ones. Today, we shall learn about one of the most intimate companions of the Prophet Muhammad, the great hero of Islam. He is known as Abu Bakr as Siddiq. He was bold, gentle, and a very good friend with the Prophet. Let's find out why Abu Bakr is that important and what are the things we could learn from him. Who was Abu Bakr? Abu Bakr was born in Makkah and was one of the first people to accept Islam. His social status was that of a well-off, honorable man. He was very honest and enjoyed good morals. Abu Bakr believed him the moment Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, started teaching people about Islam. That is why he is called as siddiq which means the truthful one. When did this friendship start? Childhood. Abu Bakr and the Prophet Muhammad were born and brought up in Makkah. They belonged to the same honorable tribe, that of the Quraysh. Even before the Prophet's first revelation, Abu Bakr had a reason to like Muhammad on the basis of his honesty, gentleness, and integrity. First, to accept Islam. When Prophet Muhammad received the first revelation from Allah at the age of 40, Abu Bakr was amongst the very first who never hesitated. The reason being, when the Prophet told him about the message of Islam, he instantly accepted it wholeheartedly. These trusts and faith augmented their bond. What did Abu Bakr do when Prophet Muhammad was in difficulty? Did he break the friendship or supported him? Test of their friendship. At one time, when the people of Makkah denied the message of the Prophet and maltreated the Muslims, Abu Bakr not only stayed loyal, but used his wealth in freeing the slaves from their masters, like Bilal, who were being tortured for their acceptance of Islam. Abu Bakr started standing beside the Prophet, supporting him to the fullest since the beginning of embracing Islam. The biggest challenge of their friendship. One of the most profound moments in their friendship was during the migration to Medina. In a time when it became impossible for him to continue safely with his mission in Makkah, and Allah instructed the Prophet to migrate to Medina, Abu Bakr was selected to accompany him on this perilous journey. The day spent together, hiding in the cave of Thor, showed how much Abu Bakr loved the Prophet and proved his loyalty. Abu Bakr was more fearful for the life of the Prophet than his own, and it was Prophet Muhammad who comforted him by saying that Allah was with them. While they were hiding, Abu Bakr felt very anxious. He was not afraid on his account but he felt frightened that something would happen to his beloved friend, the Prophet. Abu Bakr whispered, If they get hold of us, they will harm you, O Messenger of Allah. And then the miracle happens. Miracle of Spiderweb. And then miracle occurred. Allah sent a spider to weave its web across the entrance of the cave, and two sparrow hens came and nested in front of it. By the time Quraysh troops reached the cave, they saw in the entrance the web and two tiny pigeons. Anybody inside this cave? It's web, and the pigeons would have been disturbed. Abu Bakr was never separated from the Prophet, guarding him from harm and trusting in Allah with every fiber of his being. Traveling day after exhausting day across the blisteringly hot desert, they finally reached Medina. The people welcomed them jubilantly. Qualities of Abu Bakr Abu Bakr was a man who possessed the characteristics of honesty, generosity, bravery, and kindness. One always spoke the truth, 
gave to whoever needed assistance, and put full trust in Allah. He spent a lot of his assets for the upliftment of Islam, and had a very caring attitude towards the Muslim Ummah. A quick question for you kids. Why was Abu Bakr called a Siddiq? And the answer is because of his truthfulness. Abu Bakr participated in many wars with Prophet Muhammad. He was a true warrior. Abu Bakr not only supported Prophet Muhammad in his life, but also supported Ummah after his death. Upon the death of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Abu Bakr took his place as the first Muslim caliph or leader. He assembled leadership with justice, kindness, and wisdom. Although the Muslims were devastated at the loss, he reminded them through it all with faith in Allah. Abu Bakr would say, Whoever worships Muhammad, know that Muhammad is dead. Whoever worships Allah, know that Allah is alive and will never die. Abu Bakr kept the Muslim community united during this difficult time. So kids, what can we learn from Abu Bakr's life? It teaches us that we must always tell the truth, share with our friends, and rely on Allah whatever happens. Abu Bakr teaches us that being kind and brave is so important, and it will make us closer to being better Muslims. Hey kids, which quality do you like to adopt from Abu Bakr? Thanks for tuning in, kids, and learning about Abu Bakr as siddiq with us. He really was one of the fantastic companions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Coming up next time, we will be learning about another fantastic companion strong and brave. Can you guess who that could be? Continue with our next episode to find out. Don't forget to like it, subscribe, and share with your friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.